All right, Zach, thanks for that update. Uh, happening now, fall for Greenville. It is back. The festivities kicked off from 5 to 10 o'clock tonight with that opening concert event. And crowds, they came out in droves to Augusta in Maine. Despite a little bit of that rain, we spoke to some of you out there and to the city of Greenville about what having fall for Greenville back means this year. Matt Koufax live downtown after uh, everything finished up tonight. Matt's quieted down, at least for the moment. All's quiet on the West End, Tori. Uh, we had a few stragglers coming home from the bars. Thankfully, they're not here to join us now. <laughs> I want to show you the stage really quickly. This is where that kickoff event was held. You can see they've got all the equipment covered. The rain has died down a little bit. If you follow me, kind of rotate on over here, you can see they've got all the coverings on all the tents, the beer tent, the ticket tent, food and drinks. Everything is set to go for tomorrow. But this, guy's just one small section of what we're showing you and what is prepped. Everyone we spoke to says they are very excited for what's in store this weekend. And this year marks the 40th fall for Greenville. The city says they're trying to outdo themselves this year, especially since it's been quiet on Main Street due to COVID the last couple of years during this time. Passes have been sold to residents in around 30 different states, and officials tell me they've pre-sold more food and drink tickets than ever before. Neighbors we spoke to say no amount of drizzle out here could stop them from having a good time tonight. I'm being optimistic. Uh, we did bring our umbrella, but uh, I think it's going to pass. I think it's going to be a, a decent weekend. And, um, yeah, my first time here, so I'm looking forward to... Uh, everything that has has to offer absolutely it's so nice to be outside with live music despite the rain and inclement weather um, we're just excited to be back out in greenville again many other folks feel the same way tonight's concert was the sole event but things really get kicking tomorrow in all there's going to be six different stages playing all kinds of music and in between many vendors and restaurants who all tell me they are excited to be back out here get their names out there help their small businesses especially after some lean pandemic years now for all things fall for greenville related you can check out our website foxcarolina.com also our fox carolina news app will have everything from parking to events food and drinks and more check us out and come out and enjoy yourselves tomorrow and through the weekend back to you